YouTube, what's going on? We got another YouTube tutorial for you guys, and I'm super excited to show you this because this was a tough canvas for me. Um, he had coarse gray hair, and we were trying to give him a younger, fresher look that really matched his personality. And I think we accomplished that. You guys let me know in the comments once you watch the video. But he wanted a higher skin fade, textured on top, no more comb over, easier to manage. Is the day after Christmas. I hope everybody had a blessed holiday. I'm going back to the grind, man. I'm in Loganville, Georgia. I found a barbershop to cut hair at. So I'm actually on my way inside to go record more tutorials to continue this almost daily content. Love ya. Thank you guys for watching. So Scott, what are you getting done? Crop top. Crop top. Why are you going with the crop top? Trying to cover up my receding hairlines. Okay, I like that. You knew right <laughs> right away what you wanted it for. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's get started. What do you want it? What do you want on the sides? Uh, you can do ball fade. Ball fade. All right, let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? Merry Christmas, man. I hope everybody had a great holiday yesterday. Um, we're right back on the grind, man. Um, yesterday was my birthday. Your boy is getting old. I'm 31 years old. Um, but we're gonna continue to push this channel going on almost five years now on this YouTube channel, man So I appreciate everybody's support and um, And continue continuously watching and checking out the the videos man. Hopefully they, they're still helpful. So we're doing block graduation all the way around um, Staying pretty much 90 degrees off of the head. We're going rounded here as far as um, a, a, a silhouette from bird's eye view and uh, I'm just taking my time going through, making sure my tension is even. And once I've, I've done that, I've completed that all the way through, we're gonna start working the top. Now he had a comb over before, previously to this cut, he had a comb over. And uh, he was just kind of tired of that of that look. And to be honest with you, my man, he's tatted up. He's, he's fresh, man. Like, he um he definitely has some swag to him and I just felt like the comb over yeah it, it, it looked good on him but we needed a a, a more um, you know aggressive look to match his overall style and um, you know he had the comb over before he asked me for a higher bald fade he hadn't had a bald fade in a long time and so that's what we're doing so I'm cutting it just short enough to where we can keep it squared on top. Um, and just have an overall kind of like a crop top look on top where he can style it, make it messy, and match that aggressive ball fade look he's going to have on top. I mean on the sides. And when I asked him, you know, how does he want his ball fade, he said he, he, he likes it higher. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just, I'm just working my way through with the shears about an inch, half inch to an inch. The smaller sections you take, the more, the more even the cut is going to be. But you don't want to take overly small sections because then it's going to take you forever. As long as you grab, for example, this section and you can see the previous cut, that's when you know that section is good, is good to go. Okay? So we're just taking our time working through here, making sure that we have balance and that we have control while we're cutting with these shears. And you could tell when I was cutting with my shears, I was keeping my elbows down. All right, so now top is done. We're going to start working that number four all the way through. Now, before we started this whole shield work and stuff and the haircut, he did have product in his hair. You know, uh, I don't like to wash hair. I, uh, I'm not, I don't know. There's something about me washing hair that I don't like. So, but I did use tonic in the water bottle. Obviously, we could have started with a cleaner um, canvas, which I do recommend my customers. Once they come in after the first time, I recommend them, you know, make sure you come in with no product. Um, that way I can give you the best haircut I possibly can. All right, so we're gonna do that number four all the way through. We're going up to the Parado Ridge. You, If you do go above the Parado Ridge, just make sure you're going squared. Make sure you're not going in to the shape of his head because then you're gonna cut off all that shape that you created with the shear work. All right, beneath that number four, we're working on number three. And I'm pretty much gonna blend down um, to about the one open, I believe, or the even the half guard, I believe. Blend down to like the half guard. And then we're going to uh, blend up from there. But we're going to put all of our guidelines in. So I'm going to put my initial guideline in like so. And we're going to do this all the way around the head and then follow it up with the shaver. I'm 
by the way, this was Scott, Scott McKee. He, he's one of the, um, he was one of the students at the hands-on class, the very first ever hands-on course um, at Studio 45. And just so you guys know, there are two more spots available for the January that opened up. Both of the January and February were sold out. Had a couple people that had some emergencies and had to drop off. So there's two spots available for January 19th. If you're interested, um, definitely send me an email, basio at tomb45.com. So you, get, you guys can see with the shaver, I'm going up almost to the initial guideline, probably the spine of a comb below that, just so that you guys don't create too hard of a line. And the shavers I'm using are the Babyliss uh, foil FX's. All right, so now we're gonna use our gold FX's, which are dead again. <laughs> we're gonna use um, the blade open. Next guideline is gonna be that number one open. So underneath that number one open, we have a number one closed. Now I'm using my number two open to blend into that number three that we last left off with. If you guys can remember, we used that number three before we started putting our guidelines in. And this side was an easier side. Like you can see the fades almost already coming in. His hair is difficult in general because of all the different colors. Um, and gray hair tends to be much more coarse than, um, than you know, your brown or your, your black hair um, or, or even your, your, your blonde hair. Um, gray hair is always the most coarse. So mixing really coarse hair with, um, you know, different colors, it's a very hard fade in my opinion. So I'm using my one and a half guard now beneath that number two that we used. And then we'll start to close it up as we go down. All right, I had already done the one open and the one close, so now we're using the half guard. And now we'll start to blend up from the bottom line up to the blade open. You guys can see, especially now, the fade is really starting to come together on this side. I'm especially taking my time in this area because this is where you start to lose balance in the fade. So I, I'm just making sure that I'm, I'm taking my time here in this, this back area so that when the other side meets in the back, we have an even fade. Like it's not way darker in the back than on the sides, right? So we've completed one side. Now we're gonna go to this side. You guys can see this side is gonna be much harder for me. Um, you can see on the left side of his head, it's darker. On the right side, it's much more lighter, much more white hair. Um, and then just, just it just for some reason was not taking that blend like the left side was of his head. This is the right side of his head. So we're, we're gonna go through the same exact steps. Um, I did have to switch clippers because again, my gold FX has died on me. At this point, I'm thinking I need a, I need new batteries, but it's all good. Now, I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the same steps. I'm blending down. Even now, at this step, you can see that this side is different. Somebody commented on a video, um, on my last video, um, talking about how why does it seem like on some of your haircuts, both sides don't look the same? It's because 
your normal person, the person, people who aren't the perfect models, um, and even the perfect models a lot of times, they don't have the same the same characteristics on both sides of their heads, right? There's different hair growth patterns on each side of your head. There, there may be a cowlick. There may be different discoloration. They, there may be, you know, density, right? And density just means less hair in a specific area, right? Which would make it look lighter in that area. Um, Hairlines may be different on every side. No one has a perfect head. And then not just that, but, you know, head shape. Dense, like there's dents in people's heads there's protrusions in people's heads that's why it's in, it's almost impossible to make every side look the same right what you got to do as a barber is try to make it as close as possible but like for somebody to comment that you know it's it's just one of those things where you have to understand um you have to understand barbering a little bit more and sometimes you know we as barbers we cut or we as upcoming barbers, we're so used to cutting a few people or just ourselves. Maybe we haven't been exposed to understanding that that, that, that part of barbering. But I think that that's what makes a barber um, able to build a crazy amount of clientele because they understand um, so many different characteristics associated with cutting hair and with, bar with uh, clients, right? So, I mean, you know, there's there's things that you'll be able to see um, on a new client that will that will remind you of, you know, something similar you saw on a previous client and how to manage that, for example. So, again, we're, we're pretty much doing the same steps here, guys. This is a number two open blending into that number three that we had previously. And I'm just trying my best right here to just make sure that the fade is is balance that's not too dark on the left side of his head on the left side of this side I should say but yeah this is probably one of the more difficult canvases I've cut in a, in a while and the funny thing is Scott warned me <laughs> All right, I believe this is the one and a half guard now from Andis. And now this is my number one guard all the way open. At this point, we've pretty much gone through the system. We're just really detailing. I'm really trying to control all these different colors in his hair to try to make it look as even as possible. And we're gonna go through with scissor over comb. Just to refine this area right here. Scissor over comb on this side. This is where, where the sides blend into the top. All right, and now that we've gone through all of that, we're gonna go ahead and start to add some texture to the hair. So you see, I'm gonna kind of point cut into the hair. Just trying to add some more texture, more of an aggressive look, right? I feel like this haircut is gonna make him look younger than that comb over. Um, with hair on the sides right because he hasn't gotten a ball fade in a while but i feel like this this textured top and then the ball fade on the sides you match that with the tattoos man my man swagged out at this point we're, we're framing his face we're making sure that the fringe area um you know kind of falls in place with with the sides right so if he wanted to rock a comb over he could with this haircut And then I'm just doing some last minute detailing at this point. The one thing I wish I would have done was clean up his uh, beard, but we were we were rushing to go eat dinner as a class. And uh, yeah, I just, I was thinking about the whole dinner thing and totally forgot to, to line up the beard, but I did fade it in, as you can see. All right, and now we're gonna add 
some 245 clay. Here again, he already had some product in there, but we're gonna add some some clay just to really enhance that that texture. Product is an enhancer, so you didn't. As soon as I put that clay, boom, you saw all this texture really start to pop. So that's the cut, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did you like? Did you like the uh, the comb over on him? Or you you can see without the cape. Do you like the whole crop look, the textured top with a with the aggressive ball fade on the sides? Um, let him know. He he'll probably be watching this in the comments below. Smash the like button if you learned something. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe.